What is the value of square root 2? What is the value of square root 3? These are not perfect squares, which means we're going to get decimal values somewhere between 1 and 2, making them fairly difficult to calculate. But for the most part, you don't need to get a precise value for these numbers. So today, I'm going to show you how to get a rough estimate using three simple tools. Perfect squares from 1 to 12, the number line, and simple fractions. Starting off with square root 2, prepare a list of your perfect squares on the side, draw a number line, marking out square root 2 at the center. Write out number 2 and notice that it's between 1 and 4 in your list of perfect squares. These are your perfect square boundaries for 2, so write them out and find the square roots above them. Since square root 1 is equal to 1 and square root 4 equals to 2, this must mean that square root 2 is between the values 1 and 2. So square root 2 will equal to 1 point something. To find out that something, take the differences between your perfect squares, then take the first number and divide by the sum total of both of these numbers. Doing the maths gives us an estimate value of 0.3, and this is how far the value is above the lower boundary of 1. So 1 plus 0.3 is 1.3, and that is our approximate value of square root 2. The precise value for square root 2 is 1.414, meaning our estimate was only off by 0.1 units. And you'll find this to be a recurring thing in our method, even for larger square roots. Next, let's check out the value for square root 3. Depending on how you round your fraction, you could end up with a more precise decimal. Alright, so setting up square root 3 on a number line, we can see that 3 will also be between the perfect squares 1 and 4. So the value of square root 3 must also be 1 point something, but just slightly larger than our previous answer. Doing our calculations, we find that the answer is 1.7. When compared to the precise answer of 1.732, this is actually a pretty good estimate because we rounded 2 thirds as 0.7 rather than 0.6 or 0.67. And like I said, this does work for larger square roots, but let me prove it to you with three larger problems starting with square root 10. I'll be speeding through the rest of this video as the method will be the same, but I'll focus a little more on how we handle the fractions. Okay, let's go! So 10 is between 9 and 16, which means square root 10 is between 3 and 4, so it must be 3 point something. Taking the differences and doing the maths, we find that our decimal value is 0.142857. But if you don't know this value off the top of your head, that's totally fine. You can either divide 1 by 7 to get the first decimal, or simplify the fraction to something easier like 1 on 10, which gives you the value 0.1. Either way, when you add it to 3, we get the answer 3.1. Technically, we could have rounded 1 on 7 down to 1 on 5, or 0.2, giving us a final answer of 3.2, and that wouldn't be far off either because whether you write 3.1 or 3.2, the precise answer is 3.162. But square root 10 is still fairly small, so it's no surprise that our estimate is pretty good still. So what about something larger like square root of 123? Well, using the same method, 123 is between 121 and 144, which means the answer should be 11 point something. Finding our differences, we see that the fraction will be 2 on 23, which can estimate closely to 2 on 20, or 1 on 10, or 0.1, which means our answer is 11.1. The precise answer is 11.0905, which is only off by 0.01 units. And when you compare this to our previous question, where we converted 1 on 7 to 1 on 10, which is 3 units apart, we made the same conversion from 2 on 23 to 2 on 20 because that's also 3 units apart. And yet the previous answer was off by 0.06 units while this one's only off by 0.01. So clearly we can see that as the problem gets larger, the estimations become more accurate. Let's confirm this with our final question which is uh, way bigger, square root 1354. Okay, so obviously this is not going to be within our perfect squares list. So I'm going to say that this is between the numbers 1296 and 1369 because those are the perfect squares of 36 and 37. So we expect the answer to be 36 point something. Carrying out our calculations, 58 on 73 is very similar to 60 on 70. So we can simplify that as 6 on 7, which is 0 0.8. And you can find that value by doing a long division up to the first decimal place. So putting that all together, the answer is 36.8. 
The precise answer is 36.7967, meaning our estimate was only off by 0.004 units, which is incredible. So that is a very, very accurate estimate. So as long as you know how to use your perfect squares on a number line, along with some fractions and long division, you'll be able to estimate any square root number. And with enough practice, you'll be able to do it mentally. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel to learn more stuff coming in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Bye.